Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! Since last time, I grinded up to level 14 for Kirill, which I was almost there anyway. Got the Dragon Mail for Solo there, and he learned Evac, but nothing too special. The reason I wanted to get up to level 14 for Kirill is to learn the Mighty Kabuff spell, which we'll need in the near future. I also bought a Magic Vestment for him. Got the Falcon Knife Earrings for Elena back there. And the Cloak of Evasion for Boria. And he learned Accelerate, which boosts your speed. Uh, Torneco actually learned Whistle, which summons a random battle instantly. So that's really good for level grinding. Got the Magic Vestment for Mina there and learned Mid Heal. And for Baya there, I got a Cloak of Evasion for her. And we didn't learn much of anything for her. So or maybe I learned Sizzle. I thought I learned that a while ago. But, uh... Let's see. Oh yeah, I wanted to show off uh, appraising this item here. Some people suggested that. Well, yeah, absolutely. Well, there you go. <laughs> he has a similar reaction to the uh, pink leotard if you use that there, but... Well, there you go. Okay, so now that we got the magic key, let's head to the Palais de Leon and take on the Marquis. The Marquis de Leon. Oh, these guards are here now. I wonder what caused them to show up. Oh, he's going to interrogate him. Well, let's just walk right in the front... Well, not the front door, but the side door. Oh, really? Huh. Maybe we ought to check that out. I don't recall there being a town there in the NES version of the game. Huh. There you go. I hope you're ready for the hardest boss fight in the game, viewers. Hey, hey! It's Ragnar! You cannot stop me! The Chosen One. Or more like the Frozen One in the near future. Sounds like a plan. Oh, by the way, one nice thing about the Dragon Mail, it reduces all breath damage by 20. It's a fixed amount. It's not a percentage based like most magic reduction equipment. So the Dragon Mail is really good for uh, Solo. Even Ragnar can equip it too, but that's about it. Nuts. Well, I don't want to fight him. He kicked our ass the last time. Let's get out of here. I wonder if I can get around the back way. Well, no, not for that. Ah, oh, there we go. Crap. Kicked my ass the last time, but this time, I'm gonna kick your ass. For boss time! This guy is not impossible like before. First things first, you wanna set up your buffs. Which means cow buff and accelerate to boost your agility, so we always go first against him. And cow buff raises everyone's defense. It basically likes buff, except it hits everyone, and it only does half of its power. But you can stack it twice, or you can stack it more times than that, but it's diminishing returns there. Obviously, we want to get sap on him. And yeah, we're doing pretty good here. You could get fizzle and dazzle on him, but he has pretty high resistance to that, so... Uh, now, pretty much I want Kirill to be healing for the remainder of the battle. And let Elena and Solo do the DPS. And I want Boria to defend. So that way, in the event that uh, the Marquis uses his chilly breath, ow, we wouldn't die. Now, whenever he does that, absolutely have everyone heal. So use mid-heal, uh, use your healing spells. I gave medical herbs to Elena and Boria just for this occasion here. Uh, he doesn't use his chili breath that often, but when he does, it will kill you. It is theoretically possible that he could use it twice in a row, which would kill you no matter what you do, but that's pretty unlikely. You wanna watch out for his defense, cause sooner or later, Sap will wear off of him. It doesn't last too long. Ah, you see, well, the message went by quickly, but his defense returned to normal, so you gotta re-debuff re him. 
But yeah, he's got a lot more HP than in the NES version. Which I will be showing in the near future. Because I want to show the differences between the boss fights, so... Well, fortunately for me, he's not using his Chili Breath that long. So... Defending does cut breath damage in half, as well as spell damage and physical attack, so... Well, all right, we got him. Too bad Ragnar couldn't partake in the experience gaining that we're going to get from this boss fight, but, well, you take what you can get. Kind of odd that he gives less experience than a liquid metal slime. We'll be seeing those soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Probably, well, maybe next time, if I get far enough. This is a pretty good uh, level grinding point that I'd like to show off in the near future. Hey, hey, all right, we got the full plate armor, which probably be a good idea to give that to Ragnar there. What's blase mean? Lazy? Well, we're still doing all right. Oh, he's still alive. Huh. Well, that was different in the NES version. I guess he sold his soul to the devil and we freed him? I guess? Yeah, friend, French is a strange language, though. Okay, how's it going, right now? Well, we killed their entire army, pretty much, so... Sounds like a plan! Final party member! Yay! Ragnar is really good against bosses, because he just has... hes I think he's really good overall. I think he's just very underrated. A lot of people really love Elena, but... Well, I think Ragnar's... Well, it depends on the situation, but I still think Ragnar's really, really good. So, that's one reason why I got the uh, Dragon Slayer for Solo, because I might want to hand it down to him sooner or later. Glob Trotter. Ha ha. Well, you know why he's smiling? Because we got new world map music. Let's check it out. I'm going to be a little quiet here while I use my new inventory from Ragnar. Okay, it's just so majestic. I love the world map music once you get all the party members. <laughs> yeah, use all your seeds of agility on Ragnar there. He could use the help. I want to use the Seeds of Resilience on him too. He has pretty low resilience. That's your defense, basically. Let's see, is that all of them? Ah, there we go. One other thing you can do now that you have all your party members, if you switch someone from a given chapter to the lead of your party, you'll switch to that character's world map music. That's really cool. I love that. So, if you put Solo alone in the party, then you'll get his world map music. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's see, Ragnar there. Um, where's the... Yeah, I'm going to use this party for now. Uh, ah, there it is. Full plate armor. Okay, yeah, let's give that to Ragnar there. Maybe sell some of his excess equipment off screen, but... Now, let's go see how that fight would have transpired there in the NES version of the game. Okay, we're back in the NES version of the game now, and well, I just wanted to show you how this boss fight will go this time around, because it will be a lot easier here. They really beefed up the bosses in the DS version of the game. But anyway, let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, new to this version, well, new to my setup, I have the Sword of Lethargy for Solo there because it can put the boss to sleep, and it is really good. Doesn't work in the DS version. Uh, Christo, I have the Sword of Miracles for him. That is huge! Massive attack power, and it can also drain HP from your enemies. So it's just obscene. Uh, Metal Babble Armor, also obscene on the physical defense side there, but it doesn't resist magic like it does in the uh, NES, or er, the DS version of the game. So, uh, everything else, pretty much the same there. And I'm going to be using the offensive tactic for this one, because Borya 
uh, Snowstorm will actually work on the Marquis here, whereas it didn't in the DS version of the game. Hey, hey! How's it going? Oh, yeah, I did kind of... We did kind of pass by there. I ought to come back there and check it out after, uh... After, well, recruiting Ragnar. I think she says something different once you've gotten all the lights together. These are all the party members that we'll get, or all the permanent ones, anyway. Nuts. I'll do the best I can. Okay, how's it going? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think you're inferior to me. I'm the chosen one! For boss time! Okay, now, Solo, basically you just want him to attack, and hopefully the Sword of Lethargy will make him feel lethargic. So, unfortunately, I don't think Bray will actually use Sap on him, even in the offensive paradigm, so, oh well. Crystal will uselessly try to cast Stop Spell on him, unfortunately. Oh well. I mean, it can stop him from casting a spell, but I don't care about that. But I want Bray to be using his... There we go, we got him to sleep, alright. I want Bray to be casting Snowstorm on him. In the DS version, he has immensely greater resistance to ice, so that's why I don't want to use it there. But here, I'm okay with that. Hopefully, Christo just won't cast Stop Spell on him anymore. Yeah, he has a little resistance to ice, but not that much. Yeah, you see how Christo is uh, regaining HP there? The only thing with the NES version with the Sword of Miracles is that if you kill the enemy with the sword, you won't regain HP from it. So, but they fixed that in the uh, DS version of the game. So, it's pretty nice. Well, Alright, got him. Yeah, pretty easy. He doesn't have a whole lot of HP either, so that makes this fight a lot, well, a lot easier, so. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to gain a whole lot of levels. Too bad Ragnar can't take advantage of that, but, oh well. Well, at least gain, get a whole bunch of new spells. Not that I can really use them. That's a thing with the NES version. Because of the way the tactic system works, I can't get Christo to use his buffs, like, well, in this game, it would be called, uh, what would it be called? I know it's not Kaba. Uh, Increase, I think they call it, if I recall correctly. So, we got that going for us, but, oh well. Yeah, I hope you like hearing that victory noise, viewers, because we're going to be hearing a lot of it in this game. I'm not going to go over every single boss in the game that, uh, in the NES version. I mean, the two that I've shown now, I, mean, I might show a couple more, but for the most part, I'm not going to show every single one. And, you know, I just want to give you an idea how the tactic system works, uh, any di major differences that I'm making between one game and the other, and so on. So, uh, yeah, that would be me. Ha ha! Yeah, in this version of the game, they called him Necrosaro. And he dies. He doesn't... They, 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 and apparently they censored his death in the uh, DS version of the game. I don't know. You've been speaking with a French accent. No. No, that's only in the DS version of the game. This version of the game, we don't have to worry about that. Thank goodness. But where do we go now with all of our fresh party members? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Four. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!